new interior, brand new paint, um, brand new pretty much everything. Yeah. And then it was all done for his wife. This is John with Central Classic Cars. Today we have an absolutely spectacular car for you with an awesome provenance. It's a 1974 Olympic Blue Carmen Ghia with no expenses spared for this restoration. The car was purchased in the 90s by Bobby Hatfield of the Righteous Brothers and he bought it for his wife, completely restored this car, had it, gave it to her and then they ended up selling it to a gentleman in Arizona who was one of the lead engineers for McLaren Racing. Uh, this car was owned by his wife for a period of time before we purchased it. It is a spectacular restoration. Paint, bumpers, motor, interior, floors, tires, everything. This car is such a beautiful car. We're so excited to take a look at it with you today. This late 90s restoration was, no expenses were spared on this car. It, it was, after it's, it was restored, it spent most of its life in, in a various owner's garages and it was garage kept afterward and it shows. The, the paint still, the Olympic blue paint job still looks wonderful. The chrome bumpers have no signs whatsoever of any rust at all. Uh, all of the all the finishes like this this logo the contrast between that dark blue with the the light blue just really the t the minor finishes are, are wonderful on this car as we go through the paint uh, on this passenger side of the car I don't see any signs in this particular section of any anything bubbling or popping out at this point in time it it looks absolutely wonderful the chrome wheels and tires look brand new. Uh, as we come along to the side of the car, there is one rock chip that I do see and a chip up here. Um, overall, this is a nine and a half out of 10 in my opinion in terms of the paint condition. Same thing with the chrome pieces, spectacular. As we look at the rear of the car, the rubber seals around the tail lights are, are in wonderful condition. The, the logo looks brand new. The bumpers, I can't say enough about the bumpers on this car. This is probably the nicest bu bumpers I've seen on a, on a 74 Carmen Ghia. Um, since we're already back here, let's take a look at the, at the motor. The motor has been completely replaced. Uh, it was a new crate motor that was put into the car. Uh, dual port 1600 cc. The carburetor looks brand new, the belt, the distributor, the battery cables are set in there properly. I've seen so many of these where they're blown out. It has that original mounting piece with the bar sitting there properly. The cable works properly, all the latching, everything is in here is, is as it was. Uh, all this is, uh, the engine compartment is very clean and tidy. It just goes to the level of restoration that was done. As we move to the driver's side of the car, it's more of the same. There are very minor imperfections in the paint, which I'll try to point out to you as we move forward, but frankly, I'm struggling to find any in this particular section of the car. It does have a boot that was installed. The top goes up and down wonderfully and smoothly. There's a, a minor rock chip here uh, in the paint. Um, there is also a minor scuff that may be able to be buffed uh, on this passenger or driver side fender. As we move forward, the chrome, all the accents in the chrome are as new. Um, there is one spot here that there appears to be a little bit of cracking in the paint right above the driver side mirror. Um, Along the top of the windshield, most of the paint and the rubber gaskets are solid. There is a few minor cracks right where the top meets, where there was some, some rubbing there. Uh, it's the very similar on the other side of the car as well. It does, I've seen a lot of the restorations where they just put the rubber in and they don't actually put the chrome trim piece in. This has everything 
uh, tidy as it should be. The windshield, I do not see any signs of cracking in the windshield whatsoever. It's definitely a replacement windshield on this car. As we look at the antenna and, and everything around it, there's a, there's a minor crack there, but overall, just the look of this car is, is totally spectacular. Now that we've looked at the exterior of the body, let's look at the front trunk and, and see what we have underneath there. I have actually already released that hood latch in the glove compartment, which I'll show you again when we look at the interior, but there's a couple pieces of documents and things like that in here. It's very interesting, on these cars, the air pressure from the tire actually is used and threaded onto the spare tire for the wiper fluid. Uh, we've, got, we've got it disconnected right now because I want to show you some things underneath in one of the most ins important inspections to look at on these cars. The gas tank has been replaced on this car. It has a brand new spare tire. I want to show you the front nose of the car. There's been some welding done and it, it, it is in very good condition underneath here. All the metal has been replaced. There is some signs of, of welding that has been redone through here. In addition to that, you've got on these side walls, I see a, <clears throat> along the fenders, the, everything is in solid condition. Um, a lot of this carpeting covers up many sections, but I'll try to pull up as much of it as I can for you. Take a quick look underneath there. And again, we can show the other side of the car here. Overall, everything in here is in, in, in very good condition. And there's nothing, no flaws that we want to hide that have been done in the car, so. As we go to the interior of this car, everything has been replaced. It has new carpet kit that's been mounted to the bottom of the car. It has new seats. These are definitely aftermarket. They're a little bit wider and they have the headrests on them. Uh, the dash pad is all very clean and tidy. The, it has an aftermarket stereo in it. Obviously, this is, a, again, a four-speed manual transmission. Um, the emergency brake works. The heater channels move up and down properly. I get a lot of questions about how the fuel gauge opens. And underneath this part of the uh, passenger side, there's actually a, bu a button that you, or a, a tab that you pull to release that cable, and that actually will release the uh, fuel compartment on the car. The steering wheel is in great condition, the speedometer, odometer, uh, fuel gauge all work. Uh, as we come to the back of the car, I'll just show you quickly underneath here. This is very clean and tidy as well. You've got the chassis number with the VIN number writ written on it right there. Everything is, is very clean in, in the interior of this car based on that re restoration. So. Now that we've gone through the car on the exterior and the interior, we're going to take it for a quick spin. has a great sound to it. The engine, it runs very smoothly. Uh, I'm in second gear here and it idles very well. It, um, the brakes, brakes are solid. The steering is very solid. It does not, the car does not have power steering, but you really have a lot of control with the, with the weight of this car and the, the way everything has been redone. Um, it just, it's, a, it's an absolutely spectacular cruiser that's got an awesome story to it with the memories of the people that had owned it previously. It's, it's an absolutely wonderful car. Thanks again for joining today's video. I'm John with Central Classic Cars. We hope you enjoyed going through this beautiful restoration car with us. 
again all the memories with the car i think it's it's got a great story to it please subscribe to our youtube channel for weekly updates on some of the other cars we have in inventory check out our website centralclassiccars.com and also check us out on facebook and instagram